guys and welcome back to my channel so as you can see again I'm in a different setup and no this isn't because I've changed my setup all over again this is clearly not my bedroom um, I'm actually staying with my sister at the moment in Worcester for a few days um, I'm filming this on the day that you're watching this if you're watching it the day I upload it basically I'm filming this on the day I upload it I wanted to film a video so that I had one up for you today because I usually upload on Fridays and I really like this setup and now I really wish that I had it at home but yeah this is what the setup looks like for today but for today's video as you can tell by the title um, I'm gonna do a questions I've never answered video I took inspiration from Zoella for this and also Just Jodes did this too I'll link both their channels below if I remember but if not you can search for them although I'm sure you probably know who they are already when I asked for these questions I got a lot like more than I've ever got for any other Q&A video so I've tried whittling it down but I still have a lot so I might have to make this into a part two as well so if you'd like me to do a part two at some point let me know and you can also leave some questions down below that you want me to answer in a future video but I'm gonna try and answer as many as I can and try not to make this too long. The first one I've definitely touched on it previously but like a long time ago in a video like a really old video um, but it's kind of a random one. Basically, I've been asked to talk about my Teletubbies fear um, and my thoughts on the new Teletubbies and the fact that they've had babies. So, this probably sounds really weird and you're probably thinking, Teletubbies fear, what the hell? But some of you may know, some of you may not. Um, when I was younger, I was obsessed with the Teletubbies, like it was my favorite show, as well as like Barney and stuff like that but I loved Teletubbies and for some reason when I was younger I used to have reoccurring nightmares about them honestly I don't know why I used to love the program when I was younger like I was happy watching it there were some things that creeped me out a little bit but I wasn't ever terrified of it until I started having reoccurring dreams about it but I continued to watch it I remember being quite young and really liking it and I think it was the phase where I was coming out of w watching it like I'd sort of grown out of watching it if that makes sense i got to a certain age where i didn't really care for it anymore and it probably sounds weird that i remember it because obviously i was very young when i was watching the teletubbies and stuff um so it seems strange to remember it so well but i think the dreams i used to have were so vivid i just remember it to this day and since then i've just been terrified of the teletubbies purely because it's so stupid i know it's stupid i think just like even the music and stuff i used to have such weird dreams like i'll try and think of examples like i used to have dreams of lala chasing me around uh teletubby land this makes me sound like an absolute psycho um and also like dreams about the music and like it playing and it just being really creepy i don't i don't remember exactly but there was a lot of dreams i used to have about it this is the most random thing in the whole world but this this was a thing this is what i used to have nightmares about i don't know why honestly so weird and to this day it still freaks me out quite a bit but the main thing that scares me the most about it all is <laughs> this makes it even worse is the sun if you remember if you ever watched it i'm gonna insert a picture which is brave of me because honestly i can't even look at pictures of it without freaking the hell out so i'm gonna insert a picture or a clip of it here if you don't know what it looks like i don't know if it's changed now in the newer versions because they've remade load like they've remade it again they've started it again that's what i'm gonna go on to talk about in a second but yeah that's what it looks like i'm not gonna enjoy editing this now um but yeah now they've made babies now the new series they have babies so i look to see what they look like and they're actually really cute kind of creepy but really cute <laughs> so yeah they don't scare me as much but yeah the old school like teletubbies like the original terrifying so yeah there's something you maybe didn't know about me i have a weird fear of a children's tv show the next question is from shannon um she asked me a lot of questions but obviously i can't answer everything because I'd be here forever so I do apologise to anyone's questions I missed. If someone asked me multiple questions and I missed any I apologise. I just won't be able to answer them all. There's just so many which I'm so grateful for like thank you so much. One of the questions Shannon asked me is are you aware that to me you are one of the bravest people I know? Having the amount of confidence you have makes me jealous and 
thank you so much like that means a lot to me like honestly um it's strange because i read this and i'm like are you sure you're talking about me like brave confident um in some cases yeah i mean i guess performance wise i can be quite brave and quite confident when it comes to performing but like in general life i don't think i'm brave or confident enough at all like it's something that i struggle with on a daily basis and i'm still trying to work on so to hear that it's very like weird to me <laughs> like it's just strange um i've definitely improved my confidence has improved by a mile as well as being brave about certain things like anxiety wise maybe although there are days where i really struggle and recently it's been quite bad but to me this is just such a strange thing to hear because i don't think i am that brave or that confident i guess the fact that I'm making videos about it and I'm being open with people, that is quite brave and quite a confident thing to do. So I guess I don't really give myself enough credit and I've spent a lot of time struggling with stuff like that and to be still going and, you know, trying to be stronger than ever, um, if that makes sense. You know, trying to make myself better and better. I guess that is quite brave and quite confident, but thank you, Shannon, that means a lot. Um, I love you a lot, by the way. A little shout out to you but yeah that's crazy to hear honestly i i've never thought of myself as very brave or confident the next question i haven't actually <laughs> really thought about it and made a solid decision yet but i was asked who my least favorite disney character is which i've answered a lot about my favorite disney characters or my favorite disney films and stuff like that but i've never talked about my least favorite disney character that's honestly really difficult um the first one that popped into my head, although I don't know if she's my least favourite ever, she's definitely one of my least favourites, and I mean, I don't know, it's so hard, like, I, I don't, there's not any characters that I like, hey, I guess there's some that aren't nice characters, so of course you'll all hate that character, but you know what I mean. Basically, I'm not the biggest fan of Jasmine, Princess Jasmine, if you don't know, she's the princess from Aladdin, um, I'm just not a big fan, to be honest, I just don't think she's that great i think she's a little bit boring um she just she seems like someone i wouldn't want to be friends with <laughs> uh, that sounds really weird but she just doesn't seem like a very friendly character even though she's meant to be like a princess she just doesn't i don't know she's just never appealed to me that much i mean i do love aladdin don't get me wrong i absolutely love that film i don't know she's just always been one that's one of my least favorites but other than that oh, i honestly can't think in terms of being scared of Hades from Hercules has always really freaked me out like so much like I just think he's really creepy but then at the same time I think he's quite a cool character so I wouldn't say he's one of my least favorites just one that creeps me out a little bit um honestly I can't think of any others so I'm just gonna have to go with Jasmine there might be others that I dislike a bit more or on the same level but I can't there's so many I mean I could sit here for hours and just think about what characters there are and which ones are my least favorite but i'm gonna go with jasmine for now that is my current decision but i don't know next one is another hard question it is what is my favorite performance so far and why um oh god that is that is difficult um i think my favorite show i've ever done i'm gonna put it out there I'm, i mean Oh, it's just really difficult and I mean at certain times like it depends in terms of like how I think my performance in general went or how much I enjoyed it I think overall my favorite performance I've ever done would be Cinderella sorry so sorry I um, just wanted to double check that you didn't hear anything from saying um uh, not that I know of I'm just gonna go and get cash out and loot all because I really need a poo this is whose room I'm borrowing hi it's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I would have preferred a ring light, but I wasn't really going to bring a ring light with me, was I? I haven't provided one of those. I've provided fairy lights and nice cushions in the background. I was just saying that this isn't my normal setup, but now I kind of wish it was, because I really like it. It is nice. This kind of looks a little bit like Evan's setup. If any of you watch Evan's videos, this I feel like this looks a bit like his. This is reasons why I need to make YouTube videos, because I've got yeah. a good setup. You are. I mean, comment down below if you want to. Yeah, anyway this yeah. video is getting really Bye. long so. sorry about that random interruption but um yeah i think the cinderella show that i did um 
I've spoken about this a lot in videos, so I won't go into too much detail, but I did a touring version of it where I played the fairy godmother and we toured around different primary schools and then we did just like the normal show version at one specific venue and like you know like a ticketed show like you know standard sort of thing um, and I was Cinderella for that one and it was just honestly the most amazing thing ever like the whole experience was just incredible I just loved the parts I got to play I just enjoyed it so much like the people I was around as well and it was just incredible. One of the first performances I did with college as well. It was with the same guy we did those pantos with and we did like a mashup, not a mashup, like a variety of different songs. Um, and the finale for that um, was Shrek, I'm a Believer. And I was Fiona for that. And I, that was when my confidence really started to grow. Like from that moment, I was like, where has all this confidence come from? I think probably that one because that's what gave me that little spark back or a spark that I never really had and confidence I never thought I could ever have in my life so I think I'd go with that one or Cinderella just because I love doing that so much. Another difficult question, I feel like I've said that about all of them so far but what is um, one of the worst things I've done or something I regret? Um, oh god, I don't know. In terms of regretting things I think it's just opportunities I've not taken but then I also am a very firm believer of everything happens for a reason. So if certain things haven't worked out or I've not done things a certain way, that's how it's meant to be and things just fall into place. Um, I mean, one of the regrets I did have at one point was that I went to sixth form before going to college because I would have just done the normal college level course and then gone to uni or something or done something else. But obviously I did the uni course at the college, but I kind of wish I'd gone straight there and started from like the sixth form level or the college level, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But a lot of the time I wish I'd gone straight there rather than doing sixth form. But at the same time there were some good things that came out of sixth form, although I really struggled with it, I'm not going to lie. I know some people maybe start in sixth form and might be stressing about it, maybe I could do an advice video on that, let me know if you want that. But it just wasn't for me and I did struggle quite a bit. Although there were things that I enjoyed, there were also things that didn't go well and there was personal things going on that just threw everything all over the place. Um, and a lot of the time I think, oh, maybe I should have just gone straight to college. But at the same time, if I'd have gone straight there, I might have left earlier. I wouldn't have met certain people. I wouldn't have done certain things and things just wouldn't have happened the way they have now. And I think, again, everything happens for a reason. So I think Honestly, I don't like to regret anything. I mean, there are definitely opportunities that I've not taken because of like my anxiety and stuff that I do regret. I was actually meant to go to Peru a couple of years ago, like two years ago, three years ago, maybe, um, for a month um, with Camps International. I, some people that watch my videos um, or that I know have done the same sort of thing, so they'll know. It's like a company that you go traveling with, you get to do like volunteer work and stuff there and I ended up backing out of it um, which is kind of annoying because I think it would have been a great experience but I was just not mentally prepared for it like I know anyone would struggle with that sort of thing and it would be stressful for anyone but like mentally I was really not in a good place and I think it was one of the worst periods of my life like in terms of my mental health so I just it was just too much of a risk and I just thought it'd be better just to give it a miss and maybe take the opportunity another time. Next question is what do I plan to do with my year as a 20 year old? So that freaks me out the fact that I'm 20. At the moment it's just a case of trial and error. Um, I'm carrying on auditioning for Disneyland and applying for Disney World and stuff um, which I've spoken about so many times and also on my Disney YouTube channel I'm thinking of doing an update to my application for the Disney Cultural Representatives Programme in Florida because I did get an email back yesterday and maybe I could talk about it. It is just a case of auditioning for different things. I've gotten myself a little job starting in September and it's just sort of going with the flow basically and hoping something happens from there because at the moment I don't know what's gonna happen so we'll just see. The next question I actually think is a really good one. Um, I mean they've all been amazing but this one really got me thinking. Um, and it is, what would you want to do as a career slash job or with your life if you didn't want to be a performer or YouTuber? So basically you can't pick what you're wanting to do now. So 
if I had to do another job that I've not considered doing, if that makes sense. So if I couldn't be a YouTuber, if I couldn't work at Disneyland, if I couldn't be in shows, I mean, I don't know what I would do. That is the only thing, they are the only things I'm really passionate about. So that's quite a struggle. I think maybe, I don't know if this counts, but maybe I'd go into like teaching performance. I know it's still technically performing, but it's not really what I want to do. I don't really want to teach it. I want to be doing it. I've always considered being a choreographer. I think that'd be quite fun. I mean, I know this is still kind of performance based, but it's not one of the jobs I'm considering now. It's just teaching choreography rather than being in shows and stuff like that. So maybe that sort of thing, having my own drama school or being a choreographer, maybe focusing on like commercial sort of stuff or musical theatre maybe. I know it's kind of similar. I feel like I didn't answer it well, but it's still not one of my main career goals. So I guess it still works because that's not what I want to do. But if I had to do something else, that's probably what I'd next look into. I'm definitely going to do a part two because this video is getting really long now. Um, and I still have quite a few questions left. I've got one more question and then I've got some questions off my friend Liv and then maybe some other ones that you guys leave me in the comments or that I ask for on my social media in the future. So I'm gonna end with one more question now and then do a part two, if that's okay with you guys. Um, so the last question is, what is my favorite musical and why? And again, so difficult. In terms of ones that I've been to see, Oh, so hard. I'd probably say Wicked because that was just incredible. And of course I love The Lion King, but that probably comes as no surprise. I think just in general, like whether I've been to see it live or I've just seen the film or neither, I think maybe Hairspray because I feel like that's been a favourite for a long time. Um, or Grease. I do love Mamma Mia. I think... Although I don't know if this is a set definite answer, I think I'm gonna go with Hairspray because I just, I was just obsessed with the film for such a long period of time and I still love it to this day. And the music and everything about it, I've just always loved it. I haven't actually been to see it live before. I think it, it probably is my favorite musical. But then I also can't decide and I also really love Wicked. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna end this here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below some more questions for the part two of this video and any other video suggestions you have as well. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Bye.